Yo, what's good, YouTube gang? I'm Jay Pats, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a soulful sample loop without using samples. So here's a preview of the sample that I made, and let's get right into it. So yeah, you can hear just really simple, smooth, and soulful. The main basis of this is this piano that I started with from Piano One. So basically I started with these three notes, so G, D, and G, and then I put down the bass note, D sharp, and then I just went up a half step. So E, E, G sharp, and D sharp. That's basically the main idea of the piano chords. And I don't really know how to explain this well. This just took me time and it was a lot of clicking and messing around with notes. What I started with or tip that I could give is just focus on the first bar and then worry about what you're gonna do next. But like get something that sounds good at first. So like these sounded really good to me. I just liked how that sounded. And then I figured out the next half of it by going up here. And then I just started adding other things on. So basically what I'm saying is figure out the main chords that you're going to use, and then you could start making it a little more intricate and adding things in to add a little bit of movement. And then I just duplicated the piano and put it an octave lower. I duplicated the piano once more and put a Rhodes on there from Lounge Lizard. One other thing I did to the Rhodes is add more of a strum. So I pulled these notes back even more, just so it gives it even more of a strum effect and it doesn't sound exactly the same as the piano chords. Next, I got these strings from BBC Symphony. So real simple, I just got two notes and then layered them in another octave below. Next I added a bass from Contact, which was a Scar B Rickenbacker. After that I added a Glockenspiel from Philharmonic. And by adding the glockenspiel, it actually helped emphasize certain chords and made things stand out. So it was a good layer to add in there. After that, I added in this guitar from Ilya Efimov. Next, I put in this sitar from Contact. So after that, I recorded my own vocals, even though I cannot sing at all. I actually don't really like them in the sample, so I'm probably gonna replace them out, but they make a decent placeholder just for the idea. So here's how those sound. So as you can see, I just layered three different layers. And then lastly, just to give the sample more movement and make it feel more like a record or a sample, I added in some light drums. Really simple, it just helps give some texture to the sample. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell because it really just helps out my channel, kind of just keeps me motivated to continue making videos and sharing my knowledge with you guys. So thanks for tapping in. I'm Jay Pats. Peace.